Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here, welcome to the channel, and welcome back to our playthrough of Arkham Horror, the card game, where we're currently playing the Dunwich Legacy Campaign. We are on our fifth scenario, which is Blood on the Altar, and our two intrepid investigators are Daisy Walker and Zoe Samaras. Just before we get into episode 27, slight cock up from last turn. I diddled myself again. In fact, I diddled Daisy. She should have had an extra action. I only gave her two normal actions, not three. And uh, because of that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say that she used that extra action to get herself a resource. What I could have done, if I was a bit cheeky, was used emergency cash. You know, say that she'd uh, used the old Book of Law and then used her final action to play Emergency Cash to get three. But that's a bit cheeky considering as I just forgot to do it. So what we'll do is we'll just say she got herself a single resource. And that way I don't, uh, I penalise myself a little bit for being a donut. Okay, so that's it for corrections. Let's get straight into episode 27. And uh, that means, oh yes, it's the laugh and the chuckle phase. And here we are at the laugh and the chuckle phase. So first things first, a doom. So we're up to two Doom already. Remember, we got delayed coming to Dunwich, so we had to put a Doom down before we even started. Okay, having done that, obviously the Doom limit hasn't been reached yet, so we can move straight on to Encounter Cards, and uh, our lead investigator is Zoe. So what card does she get? Oh, we got a monster straight off. Servant of Many Mouths. So three combat. Two health, and it's one to evade. It's quite easy to evade. Humanoid, spawn any empty location, but it does have retaliate, so we'll have to remember that. As a reaction, after you defeat Servant of Many Mouths, discover a clue at any location. So that's pretty good. Enemy, and it does two damage. Obviously some cultist guy with a pitchfork and uh, a, fire, a firebrand in his hand. Obviously it couldn't find Frankenstein's castle, and he's... Going around Dunwich, trying to stab people with his pitchfork by the look. Okay, we'll put him at the schoolhouse. Because, yes, let's kill him. <laughs> Zoe, Zoe, Zoe's feeling up for it and she's going to be going that way anyway. So we'll put him there. Alright, so that is it for Zoe's encounter card. So now we do Daisy's. And Daisy gets Unhallowed Country. So I think this is a Dunwich card. Treachery, Terror, Revelation. Put Unhallowed Country into play in your threat area. You cannot play ally assets. Treat the printed text box of each ally asset you control as if it were blank. Ooh, nasty. Forced, at the end of your turn, test willpower three. If you succeed, discard Unhallowed Country. Well, one thing we've been slightly lucky. One, we've already got the research librarian out. So that's fine. He's already been played. And the treat the printed text box as if it were blank that's fine because we've already used him we used him to get the old book of law so it doesn't matter that that text box is blank so in a way not too bad we'll put that into her threat area that is it for daisy and that is it for the mythos phase so next up it's going to be the investigation phase and i think we'll go with zoe And here we are at the investigation phase with Zoe. We're concentrated on the map because for her first action, yes, yeah, she's going to move down here. And she moves down to the schoolhouse, which means the servant of many mouths will engage with her. He's not aloof. So he is going to come down here. But just before we get into all that, we have moved to a location. So let's have a look at the schoolhouse. Dunwich location. 
With its crumbling rooftop and rat-infested walls, this is hardly even a house, let alone a schoolhouse. Yes, looks really nice. Let's flip it over. Oh, a shroud of four, that's tough. And it's got a single clue location. Oh, but we can get a clue. We can discover a clue by killing the servant. So that's, that is lucky. You cannot discover, oh no, it isn't because we cannot discover clues here except by investigating. So we're not gonna get a clue. As a free action, if there are no clues here, draw the encounter card underneath schoolhouse. Group limit once per game. Okay, so we are gonna have to investigate there. Us killing the servant of many mouths isn't gonna do us any good whatsoever. All right, so we're on now to her second action. So we'll go down to the player area because there's gonna be a bit of fighting. And here we are at Zoe's player area. So we're taking on the servant of many mouths. We just had a look at him, but yes, he's got a combat of three. And let's have a look at our 45 automatic. I think this will do the business. Spend one ammo, fight, we get plus two combat for this attack and the attack deals plus one damage ignore the retaliate keyword for this attack woo -hoo! so we're going to spend one ammo and we're going to attack baby so we get plus two that puts us up to six that is six versus three and we're going to use overpower why not so that is eight versus three Oh, pretty a jaunty angle. That's what we do. And eight versus three. And we get a zero. So that was easy. Which means we put two damage onto him. And two damage is all he's got. Yeah. Oh, do we put two damage or just one? Sorry. Yes, it deals plus one damage. So that's good. Two damage, he dies. Unfortunately, we cannot discover the clue. Yeah. It says discover clue, one clue at any location, but um, the only place that we know has got a clue is the schoolhouse, which I forgot to put on. I'll put it on now. And, um, yeah, that says you cannot discover clues at that location. So that's a bit of a, ba that's a, bit of a bind, but... Uh, at least we've killed this guy, so we'll get rid of him. Overpower goes, but we were successful, so we draw another card, and we get Brother Xavier. Oh, this guy's cool. So he gives us a willpower icon. He's pure of spirit, he's an asset, an ally. You get plus one willpower. That'd put up to five, which is brilliant. Brother Xavier may be assigned damage and or horror dealt to other investigators at your location. So he could even help Daisy if Daisy was there as well. As a reaction, when Brother Xavier is defeated, deal two damage to an enemy at your location. So Brother Xavier can go in there, look to get him promoted, if Leo De Luca doesn't come out in the meantime. So we spent that, that was a, that was a bullet. And that was our second action. So there we go. Right, for our third action, I don't think it's worth investigating because that is a shroud of four and that's tough. That is tough indeed. So I think we'll leave that clue there. And what we shall do is we will move. So let's go back to the map. And here we are back at the map. So for our final action, Zoe's going to move up here to the house in the reeds. And that means we're going to look at that as well. So uh, house in the reeds. Again, Dunwich. Even the locals stay away from this half-sunken hovel. Yes, very nice. So we'll flick it over. The house in the reeds. Location at Shroud of Two. That is much better. It's got one clue per investigator, so it's got two. Dunwich. While you are in the house in the reeds, you cannot play events. As a fast action, well, as a free action, if there are no clues here, draw the encounter card underneath House in the Reed group limit once per game. And we've got our flashlight. So if we use that, the shroud will go down to zero, which means the only token that will stop us picking up the clues is a tentacle. So that's good. 
house in the reeds we like that pop it back up here and it gets two clues on it so I'll try and remember this time there we go and that is it for oh you can't even see Zoe hang on there she is so Zoe is at the house in the reeds coolness right that means next up it is Daisy and here we are with Daisy because the first thing she is going to do is she is going to move and she is going to go to Bishop's Brook taking a bit of a chance here we're just hoping <laughs> what we don't get here is a monster because then we're in big trouble but I just want to get a bit extra tempo going so we're going to take a bit of a risk so we're at Bishop's Brook and let's have a read Bishop's Brook Dunwich one dreads to trust the tenebrous tunnel of the bridge yet there is no way to avoid it HP Lovecraft the Dunwich horror <laughs> let's flick this over Bishop's Brook a shroud of three and it's got two clues Dunwich each enemy at Bishop's Brook deals plus one horror while it is attacking. Oh no, please don't let, don't let us get a monster here. As, uh, yeah, as a free action, if there are no clues here, draw the encounter card underneath Bishop's Brook. Group limit once per game. Okay, so I'll put that back there. And we'll pop Bishop's Brook back. That's got two clues on it as well. Put those there. Now we've got three actions left if we include our action for a tome. And in fact, I think we'll do that one first because whatever card we draw might help us with the other two uh, actions that we've got. So let's get back to the player area. And here we are at Daisy's player area. So we're going to spend her free tome action. We're going to use Old Book of Law, so let's flip that round. We get to pick three cards off the top. Shortcut. Love those cards. The second one is Working a Hunch. Ooh, you can discover a clue at your location. And the last one is Dr. Francis Morgan, where he gets plus one combat. Hmm... Well, while we've got Unhallowed Country in play, we can't use him anyway, so we'll pop him back. And you know what? We'll even put Shortcut back. It's useful, but it'll probably be even more useful towards the end of the game. So we'll put it back. That leaves us working a hunch. We'll just shuffle these back in. Whee! And do a cut. Pop those back there. We have working a hunch. So this would cost us two. It's an event. It's got two uh, intellect icons and insights. Fast play only during your turn. Discover one clue at your location. So we'll put it there. Now we have a shroud of three. We have got five intellect, so that'll be minus two. I think we're going to play just before we do that. We are going to play working a hunch, so it costs two, and we've paid that fast. Play only during your turn, discover one clue at your location. So we're going to discover a clue at our location. So that cost us an action to actually play it. And then we're using its sort of fast action to uh, pick up a clue. So we've picked up one of the clues. So that's good. And we've got one action left. And what we're going to do with that is we're just going to investigate as normal. So that is five versus three. So we need a minus two or better. Come on, Daisy, you can do it. Oh, of course she can. She can get a minus one because she's a star. So she pops that. 
there are now no clues at that location. <laughs> so, let's have a look at what the encounter card is. Come on, not a monster, not a monster. Ooh, it's a normal encounter card. It's not the key, it's not the hidden chamber. Strange signs, omen, revelation, test intellect three. If you fail, add one clue from the token pool to your location. Two clues instead if there are three or four investigators in the game. There aren't. So let's just put that for the, there for the time being. So again, it's five plus three. Is there anything we can throw at it? We could throw perception at it. I think we will, actually. I don't want to put any clues back on this location. So, perception, we're going to commit that. That's going to give us two extra intellect, which gives us seven. So that's seven versus three. We need a minus four or better. And we get a bloody tentacle. So, clue from the supply goes back on here. Oh, that's bad. But this disappears. And that is bad, putting clues back onto... You can't see, it's up there, but putting clues back on location, it comes back to bite us at the end. So that was a bad result. Oh, I can't pass that. Oh, the, oh, that was... I think that was the only token out of 16, 17, that would have caused us to fail that. So uh, I hope that isn't the sign of things to go. She's always like this at the start, isn't she, Daisy? Awful. And then um, near the end of a scenario, she tends to buck up a bit. But uh, start bucking up now, Daisy. Come on. Right, that's it for Daisy. And uh, that is it for the investigation phase. So next up, it is the enemy phase. And here we are at the enemy phase, and there are no enemies, so we like that. Okay, straight on to the upkeep phase. And here we are at the upkeep phase. Refresh cards, old book of law, and we get actions back. There we go. And let's draw some cards. Not two, just one. Zoe gets double or nothing skill. And it's got a wild card icon, fortune, max one committed per skill test, double the difficulty of the skill test. Skill test is successful, resolve the effects of this successful test twice. So we'll put that down here. And she gets a resource, putting her up to two. Then we have Daisy. What does Daisy get? Drawn to the flame. Draw the top card of the encounter deck, then discover two clues at your location. Brilliant. Love this card. It's an event. Costs nothing to promote apart from an action. It's got a willpower icon, intellect icon. Fantastic. So we'll pop this down here. Oh, I'll tell you one thing we should have done. Was it the end of her turn? Yeah, we should have done this at the end of her turn. We'll do it now. And uh, apologies for that. Slightly late. We'll give her her resource. And what it is, is... Da, 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 we've got a test. Willpower. Now, she's got three, three willpower. Are we going to chuck anything at it to get rid of Unhallowed Country? Not really. We're not bothered about allies at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll just do a straight test. And we get a Cowled Cultist, which is not going to be good because we needed a zero. Minus two. If you fail, add one clue from the token pool to your location. Yes, great. Great stuff for... Uh, Daisy, you're just stinking it up 
for the rest of the team once again at the start of the scenario. Oh, right. <laughs> Oh, and I don't want to use, I don't want to use Drawn to the Flame to get rid of those. That is, uh, that's just bad. We might just leave those there. It'll give us a right laugh at the end of the scenario. Anybody who's played this before will understand what I'm talking about. All right, so that is it for the upkeep phase, I believe. Yes, it is. And what we'll do now is I'll go away and... Uh, Upload this and edit it, and then I'll come back shortly with what I think is round 50. See you shortly. And here we are, round 50. 50! 50 rounds of Arkham Horror, the card game. Oh, the half century is up, and at least nobody's died yet. But the way Daisy's going on, it can't be long. All right. <laughs> so it's the Mythos phase. We love it. So another Doom. So we're up to three Doom, but we're okay. We have a limit of six. And now we are picking cards. So our first investigator, our lead investigator is Zoe, and she gets Rotting Remains. I hate Rotting Remains. So, test willpower, three. For each point you fail by, take one horror. Remember, three is the most we can take. A sickening display of gore causes you to retch. You're glad this wasn't you. Well, her willpower is four, which is pretty good. Is there anything we're going to throw at it? I don't think so. So it's just four against three. We need a minus one or better. And we get, what do we get? We get a skull. Let's check. Hopefully that's a minus one. Minus one for each location in play, in play with no, un, no encounter card beneath it. So that's minus two, isn't it? Oh no, minus one. Yes, yeah, so we've got one that hasn't got an encounter card beneath it. So that is minus one. Minus one for each location in play with no encounter card underneath it. Oh no, it's minus two because the village commons does not have... Ah, so we failed. Failed, but we only failed by one. So we lose a single... So we go down to five. There we are. Dang. Right, that is it for Zoe. Next up is... Whoop. Is Daisy. Ancient Evils. Place one Doom on the current agenda. This effect could cause the current agenda to advance. So we're up to four. Things are not looking good, folks. <laughs> we're up to four Doom already. Okay, that is it for the Mythos phase. Next up, it is the Investigation phase. Who is going to go first? Oh, we can get rid of Rotting Remains. Sorry about that. Who is going to go first? I think we'll have Daisy go first, just for a little change. And here we are with Daisy. I think what she's going to do is, first action, she's going to use the old book of law. We'll, we'll exhaust that. Let's check the top three. Mind over matter. This is a good one. Cost of one. Yeah, combat and agility icon. Insight, fast, play only during your turn. Till the end of the round, you may use your intellect instead of your combat and your agility that is a definite possibility arcane studies i do like this card we've seen it many times before but mind over matter still i think and flashlight flashlight would be useful as well to be honest duh, 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 duh. which one to take I think we will take Flashlight. And Mind Over Matter's good, and Arcane Studies is good. But uh, 
let's take flashlight we might try and get these two clues with flashlight so I think that is a good plan right so there we go shuffled those flashlight goes up here we will use our first normal action to gain a resource then we will use our second to put flashlight into play so that goes up here and it needs three supplies so there we go and for our final action we will investigate so I was thinking about leaving the two clues on Bishop's Brook but we'd better not so we'll spend a supply that will put the shroud down to one so we're now five versus one come on Zoe let's start making up for your errors and you get a broken tablet we needed minus four or better that is minus three so we still succeeded and she's picked up one of these clues that she dropped last last round okay good news right that is it for daisy and next up it is zoe and here we are with Zoe. So we've brought the house and the reeds down with its two clues. The reason being it's only got a shroud of two and we've got a flashlight. So let's pick up these two clues with any luck. So our first action is going to be investigation. We are going to use the flashlight. That will put the shroud down to zero. That is an auto success unless we pull a tentacle. And we've pulled a zero. That's cool. So we've picked one, pop that there, and then we're going to use another flashlight supply, and we're going to do the same again, and we get a cultist, but that doesn't matter, because it's an auto success, that was our second action, so we've got both of these, which means we get to turn over our friendly neighbourhood encounter card. What did we get? What we want is we either want the key or we want the hidden chamber. We get hunted down, damn it. Revelation, if there are no unengaged criminal enemies in play, hunted down gains surge. Well, there aren't, so just surges. So even though it was placed underneath the location, we do have to surge it. So we just pick one from here kidnapped oh dear test willpower 4 or agility 4 if you fail add an ally asset you control to the pool of potential sacrifices well we don't control an ally asset at the moment then attach kidnapped to the current agenda if you have no ally assets take two damage and discard kidnapped instead forced when attached agenda advantage advances choose a potential sacrifice at random and place it underneath the agenda deck oh good it's a good job we haven't got brother xavier in play <laughs> right we've still got a test willpower's better than her agility isn't it yes we're going to check we're going to test willpower and i'll just put the house in the reeds back won't be a moment right that goes back up here and well I'll sort that out in a minute so we are testing a willpower of four against a card value of four is there anything we can chuck at it not really so it's just four versus four come on Zoe minus three rubbish so we just take two damage don't we if you have no ally assets take two damage that's okay she's pretty tough and that'll put her down to seven and we do have emergency aid so we can use that 
Okay, so that was a bit of a bummer. And what to do now? She has got one action left. Let's go up to the actual board. I think she's going to move. And here we are at the board. Final action. She is going to move. She goes to the Congregational Church. So let's have a look at the Congregational Church. Dunwich. I myself did not more than a fortnight ago catch a very plain discourse of evil powers in the hill behind my house, wherein there were a rattling and a rolling, groaning and screeching and hissing, such as no things of the earth could raise up. H.P. Lovecraft, The Dunwich Horror. Da, da, da. So, oh, again, another shroud of two, and we still have a supply on our flashlight, that's good. We have got clues two, because it's one per investigator, Dunwich again. As an action, choose and discard a card from your hand and gain two resources. Good, good. As a free action, if there are no clues here, draw the encounter card underneath Congregational Church group limit once per game. Okay, let's put that back up here. And that is excellent. So, well done, Zoe. You are getting something done a bit more than your compatriot. Although, to be fair to Daisy, she did pretty well this particular round. All right, so that is it for the investigation phase. Next up, it is the enemy phase. And here we are at the enemy phase, our favourite kind of enemy phase. There are no enemies, so we can go straight into the upkeep phase. And here we are at the upkeep phase. So, refresh cards. The old book of law, which is losing its sleeve there we go and actions right now it's time to pick up cards zoe first she gets psychosis damn it psychosis basic weakness madness Add Psychosis to your threat area. After you take one or more horror, take one direct damage. Two actions, we can get rid of it. Right, I'm going to put that there. So I remember we are going to have to get rid of that. So that is going to get rid of two of our actions. Next uh, episode, which is a bit... Oh, I've forgotten Hallowed Country again. Hang on, I'll just give a resource to Zoe and... Uh, that's her side. Right, we'll just do Unhallowed Country now. Oh, is there anything we can chuck against it? It's a test willpower three, isn't it? Hmm. Let's do Unexpected Courage. So we're going to use the two wildcard icons. And come on. So that gives us, what is it, five versus three. Minus two, Oof, just about. Oof. Obviously, unexpected courage, you don't get a card back if it succeeds, unfortunately. But I'm just get, just glad to get rid of Unhallowed Country. So apologies for that again. I should have done it at the end of Daisy's turn. But we got rid of it this time. Woohoo! At the cost of a good card, though. Okay, so there we go. That's that done, and she still needs a card, because we're in the upkeep phase, and she gets Perception. Woohoo! Her second copy of Perception has come out, and she gets a, another resource. We could do with Dr. Milan Christopher arriving soon, especially now we've got rid of Unhallowed Country. Right, I think that is it for the upkeep phase. Yes, it is. So, a bit better that round. Um, 
Daisy came to the party. She's still got to pick up that final clue uh, to totally repair the damage of the first round. But as uh, soon as she picks that up, we can start moving. We'll go to Osborne's general store, I think, and then she can go to the schoolhouse to pick up that single clue that's there. Uh, Zoe will pick up the... Oh, there are two clues up there. I didn't put them up there, did I? Good job I go through this. Zoe's got to get rid of psychosis, unfortunately. And then she'll only have one a she'll only have one action left, won't she? Yes. So hopefully she can pick up one of those clues anyway. And uh, yes, what we can look to do then is uh, have a look at uh, that encounter card. We had to get up to the church, really. It's the most difficult location to get to, so let's get up there as early as possible. And that's what we've done. Unfortunately, we only have one supply left on our flashlight. We could do with two, because uh, then we'd have got rid of the shroud there, no problem. But uh, it is what it is. Hopefully she will be able to pick up those clues. Then we can have a look at that encounter card under there. And while she's doing that, yes, we'll have Daisy come back this way. And uh, we're going to have to hurry as well due to some crappy cards. We've already got four Doom on the agenda. I have a feeling, I can't remember exactly, but I think when the agenda starts going over... Some of these poor guys in the ritual sacrifice <laughs> pile. Uh, well, they meet an untimely end, unfortunately. But uh, what can you do? We are searching desperately for you guys. We are trying. All right. So, uh, yes, that is it for episode 27. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm enjoying this. Uh, I quite like Blood, in, uh, Blood on the Altar. It's, uh, it's quite good. It's a race against time. You try to save people from getting sacrificed. It's pretty cool. Right, thank you for watching. Thanks for all the views. Thanks for all the subscriptions. Thank you for all the likes and the dislikes. And thank you so much for all the help and support. As ever, if you've noticed me do a boo-boo, I probably have, please let me know and I will do my best to try and fix it. And if you're watching over at Board Game Links, thank you very much. Similarly, if you're watching at Board Game Geek and uh, on the video threads there, thank you very much. Any comments here, there, anywhere, and uh, any geek gold, anything like that, thank you so much. It is much appreciated. That is it for episode 27. I hope you join me for episode 28, but until then, this is me, Cat Weasel, signing off. Toodaloo.